Hello, everybody. Wolf Fang here. Today is Wednesday, April the 17th. Pretty nice day here in Cincinnati, Ohio. We hit almost 80, I think. Being cloudy, it looked like it was going to storm. Then the sun came out. Then it looked like it was going to storm. Then the sun came out. On my way home, I actually had seven raindrops hit the windshield. You can count them. <laughs> so, I know not, not many people watch shorts, but check out the short I did today on my, I do a lunchtime walk video. Uh, somebody left a comment and told me I needed to eat a Snickers bar. <laughs> so, I'm staying away from the news, and I'm going to do some food porn. So, let's share this. It is about doing barbecue ribs. Everybody loves barbecue ribs. But the topic is the reason why you should always pat ribs dry before cooking them. So, their explanation is, are you in the, or it starts off, are you in the mood for some piping hot barbecued slathered fall off the bone ribs? Well, your answer is probably the same as anyone else's. Who wouldn't be? Whether they're baby back or spare ribs, you'll find fans of both kinds. And for those who are challenged with the task of making the tasty, amazing, uh, making ribs tasty and amazing, you'll find the possibilities are almost endless. You can grill them, smoke them, bake, bake them, smack them. <laughs> there's, there's a joke in there somewhere. I just can't find it. You can, uh, whatever method you choose, one important factor is to make sure your ribs get a good sear while cooking. Searing ribs or any kind of meat means you're browning the outside and creating a crust that adds more flavor per bite. This is usually done in a pan by turning the heat up very high and placing the meat over a little bit of oil or butter. Yet there are other ways in which you can sear your ribs such as in the oven or on the grill. And in order to create this effect, you'll need those ribs to be nice and dry. When it comes to making flavorful, crispy seared ribs, you should always make sure that you pat them dry completely before cooking them. And I will add uh, my opinion to this when I'm done. How and why to pat ribs dry? Do you pat your ribs? <laughs> After you peel away that long, thin membrane and wash your ribs, you can start your pat down. Get some paper towels and begin patting down your ribs really well. Don't press too hard. Apply just a little bit of pressure to your paper towel absorbs moisture but doesn't stick to the meat. Sometimes those vacuum sealed plastic bags that ribs come in actually contain a lot of juice too. So you'll need to make sure you blot your ribs until they're completely dry all over. Now, this guy here, Meat Church, I watch, I watch his cooking videos. He's, he, he's got some good tips. The reason, <coughs> the reason you want to dry your ribs is because it removes the moisture, which acts as a barrier between the meat and the pan or the grill. This will cause a less steam to form and allow the meat to actually sear while cooking them. Then you'll have a more, <clears throat> more of a crispy crust on the outside of those ribs, which also equates to more flavor. You'll, you'll love the smoky, sweet flavor that the ribs get as a result of the caramelization, which can only happen when proper searing. Of all the mistakes you could be making when cooking ribs, this is one you won't have to worry about again. Other ways... To rid excess moisture from your ribs. Along with a paper towel pat down method, there are other ways in which you can absorb the moisture from your ribs. If you've patted down your ribs, you'll be able to start your dry rub. Just make sure salt is one of the key ingredients. During a process called osmosis, the salt draws the water all the way through the meat to the surface. While this <clears throat> may seem counterintuitive, it actually isn't. Once the water reaches the outside, the salt will 
reabsorb back into the meat along with the moisture. This will take about 40 minutes to happen with ribs. Then you'll be able to brown your ribs until the outside is crispy and delicious. Another method you can use to increase the drying process is by placing your ribs in the refrigerator. After you finish patting your ribs dry, go ahead and place them on a rack on top of a baking sheet, then slide them into your fridge. Then slide them into your refrigerator. Letting them sit in the refrigerator for a few hours will cause cold air to circulate around the meat and the ribs to dry even further. This is just another way to help increase increase the crispy and delicious sear. So I have my own opinion on that. Um, I love cooking ribs. I've been I've been doing ribs now probably longer than I don't know six years. Probably longer than that. Um, there is a trick. Now, in the article, it said if anybody's uh, cooked baby back ribs or spare ribs. There's that uh, silver, that membrane on the back part. And you can either take that off if you don't feel like pulling that membrane off. Um, you can score it. You just take your knife and just cut it, cut it all open. Uh, I did both. Um, <clears throat> pulling that membrane off, you do want to dry it down and take a fork or a uh, a knife that has a good point and pick on the corner of the membrane, take your paper towel and grab that. And most of the time it pulls off really easy. And if you want to be lazy, just score the back of it. I'm, I did it both ways and you can't really tell the difference. Now the searing part, um, I've never seared my ribs before. I have like pot roast and stuff, but when I do my ribs, I pat them dry and leave them sit. And then I put a binder on top of the rib and then I use my dry rub so that sticks. And the binder I use is mustard. Um, and trust me, you do not taste mustard after you're done barbecuing your ribs or smoking your ribs. I mean, they come out really good. And I have practiced, practiced, practiced because I love ribs. And I, I think that I have the ribs down. Now, it depends on the dry rub. And, and do you like sweet and spicy? Or uh, it just depends on that rub, um, um, what you like. But uh, I think I make some damn good ribs. So anyway, food porn from Wolfang. Everybody have a great Wednesday. Uh, I need to get new shit out of my head. That's why I did food. So blessed be and stay safe. And I will bullshit with y'all later. Bye.